to another episode of Football with Ben Roethlisberger. My name is Spence, and I am here with renowned brick oven pizza chef, Ben Roethlisberger. People don't know that about they you. No, nope. I do. I like, I like to cook me a nice brick oven pizza. You're pretty good at it. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. Still, I'm, still, I'm still learning, though, and I'm, I'm open to learning more, to understanding when is the proper time to sauce the pizza yeah. or the, the dough. Do I do? Do I put the dough in first? Sometimes I put the dough in first. And you just pre get a little, little, just a little bit, just so it slides real nice. It slides in there real nice. Just it's nice. Hey man. But um, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome, welcome everybody, everyone watching live worldwide. Um, appreciate you joining us and tuning in uh, to football. Yes. No guests this week. Just to, we're not going to try to surprise anybody. This is going to be a um, kind of a recapper. Uh, episode won't be super long we'll, we'll hit our beers we'll talk about the uh, steeler Bengal game it is sunday night the chargers and chiefs are on so we'll we'll do a little bit um we'll recap a little bit maybe talk about heath and bob our last two guests um oh, if you do want to know if you want any snacks i do want to snack there. i'm seeing snacks that there, but is that um, a cupcake right there what is yeah, that it's a cupcake a cookie because we can talk about why we had those snacks yes well. benjamin's birthday which is tomorrow 10th yes 10th birthday tomorrow big one oh first yeah um, so we had a fun weekend doing the whole birthday thing. So we can talk about that a little bit. Yeah, man. Um, I think you want to do the first brew and then jump into that because I think it's important for people to understand that you and Ashley have been going nonstop for 72 hours. Nonstop. Like I've been over here throughout the weekend periodically. Like I've been hanging out and in different you've events. You've been, quite a bit. You, you've been awake the entire time. Yes. <laughs> Just, it's nine o'clock right now, exactly on the nose. And I'd yes. like to be in bed by uh, left 10, please. <laughs> uh, People don't I, realize I, how <laughs> exhausted you actually are. No. Like, and, and I was thinking, so the funny thing is two things. Yeah. One, I'm going to apologize now okay. because I'm probably going to be in bed while you're cleaning this stuff up. Yeah. Usually I, I sit here and watch you clean up and I have beers while you clean up. No, no, no. Then I might be sleeping. While no you expectation up. for you to hang. <laughs> yes. And two, literally, as you're getting ready to say like, you ready to go? I was like, sure. And I was like, <laughs> What are we going to talk about? Like, we literally have not talked about what we're going to talk about. We have no, like, pre Like, we no. don't even know. And I was like, you know what? Let's just go. Literally. Okay. So, typically, there is... We don't have any kind of... Um production meeting you know but there is especially when we have a guest we're like hey these things are interesting well yeah, there'll be a few text tall. messages yeah there were zero Not text much. messages today nope you're i there? said hey you're there you're uh, yes <laughs> i said are you? i was at the i was at the game with, yes. with, with benjamin his friends and ashley and you're like i'm gonna be at the house i'm like all right go ahead and so and i come home like i'm gonna put the kids to bed really quick and i'll be down and literally came down sat down and i did have time though we do need to talk about this mm -hmm. this delightful yes glass of golden goodness goodness Ooh, what is that ben? thank you to coors banquet oh wow for sending a keg whoa for us and uh yeah you're probably wondering like oh they don't have a can like no we have our yellow belly mm -hmm. in a glass moving Off on up the draft tap awesomeness thank you coors banquet how much better well, oh. is it on draft? Everything's better. Well, first of all, everything's better on draft. That's true. But this is even more delightful. It really is. Yeah, it really is. Let's jump so, into this first beer, and then we'll and we'll go dive back into the um you stay right there. <laughs> the order of events uh, that right that took place this weekend because it was it was a very busy weekend and it was awesome. And it was really cool to see because it's a big birthday. It double was. Dig it was. double digits. It was is what it is. You know what's funny, dude? As I was getting ready for this. I typically get the entire setup over here, and when we have a guest, I grab three snifters. Yeah. I still grab three snifters. <laughs> you never know. Someone might show up. Right. <laughs> all right, this first beer. Okay. I thought it was fitting, man. I thought it was very fitting. So all of these beers have been sent in by uh, the viewers. Oh, nice. Yes. So what thank you guys for doing that. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, everyone that sends stuff in. Thank you to Creekside. Yep. Holler. Yeah, you got it. Oh, that's a nice shirt, man. I know. That's a Creekside. nice shirt. You excited beer if you need your beer, go there. Is that is that you? On, with, is that mean, you in the with, shirt? With the, with the, with the beer yeah. on here. So if you guys want that <laughs> shirt at Creekside, you can go pick it up. It's Ben. <laughs> <Yeah>. That's <laughs> me. That's me. A picture of me. Uh, but no, Creekside got these, obviously, 
from the fans. So thank you to the fans. Thank you to Creekside. Let's let's get into it. Yes. So this I saw one, a little something on that can that looked pretty cool. Yes, it is very cool, and it should look very familiar because the name of this beer is Company Seven. Company Seven, which is the greatest company at this bar, really. Oh, thank you. You know, my, my dear friend Seven over here. Anytime you're sitting here, you're in Company Seven. Yeah, exactly. And so okay. I've been in Company Seven for a while now, and it's great. All right, okay. here you go. Oh, it looks very light. It is very light. It's a lager, and oh. it yes, it is really from the Dade City Brew House. Like Dade, Florida. Dade, Dade City, City, Florida. Florida. Okay. That's right. Just north of Tampa. Holding it down. It was. It's from three one seven. Three one eight one three. Oh yeah, I just made it up. I, <laughs> I just picked three numbers. I had no idea. I just. Hey man, I'm I'm a former local. That's all right. right. You know about it. Yeah, I was the eight one three. No, eight one three. I mean. Yeah. You got, okay. Well, you got two Sorry. of them, right? Right. <laughs> all right. So, uh, yeah, from Dade City uh, Brew House, from Dade City, Florida. It's sent in by Ted Waller. Ted. Yes, Ted. Holding it down. Ted. Thank you. Excellent. It's five percent. It's a lager. Uh oh. Guess what we got back. Yeah, we, we, finally got, we finally got Bob and, and Heath out of our cam so yeah. we can get our beer cam going again. The nerve. Look at that. That's Two nice. Pittsburgh legends. That's nice, that's right? That is. Company seven. That's okay. what we're, Yeah. Beer cam. So here it is. Okay. So it's light. Very and, light. And look. <clears throat> what do you get on the nose? Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Was that King of the Hill? Yep. Never watched that, but you never watched King of the Hill. Mm -hmm. So propane and, and propane accessory, Bob. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah, that's, that's, really, that's really good. Kind of tastes like a a great beer. <laughs> Agree. Yeah, Con that's what I was going to say, man. Dang, it tastes like a great beer. Yeah, that's very drinkable. Yep. That's good. Drink that yeah, whenever, so Ted, whatever. Ted sent in a couple of them. You actually have a handful of them over there. There's a. Really? A bunch of other Dade City. Ted. Hold it Thank down. you. Yeah. That's awesome. Company oh. 7. What is it Company 7 Brewery? Uh, Dade City Brew House. Dade City, Dade City Brew House. I don't awesome. know the history awesome. behind Company 7. Oh, yeah. But. Well, figure it out. Yeah, if I was going to pick good. one. I like that. I, I would. I mean, that's a. Yeah. Hey, hey. Florida's not, Florida has not been missing with the you, beers that hey, have been sent in from the state hey. of Florida. Tell them about it now. All right, because they, we had one with, I think it was Bob. When Bob, Bob was on, we had one yeah. from Florida Avenue Brewing Company, that yes. Tangerine Splash. And, and they sent a six-pack in. Yes. Where's that six-pack, Ben? In my belly. <laughs> <laughs> that lasted one day, I think. Uh, yes. Yeah. That was phenomenal. That was a very good beer. So thank you to you guys, because that was uh, a special delight. Yes. So thank you. Yeah. So This is... This is very, very good. I like this a lot. Yeah. Big fan. How would you rate it out of 10? A seven? I was going to give it. <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on. That's too easy. Yeah. That would be very fitting. Yeah. But I, I was going to give it an eight. Like, I like oh, it. Wow. I like it a lot. I think okay. it's very good. Okay. Yeah. It's a very good beer. I love lagers. You know that about me. Yes. Yeah. So I'll co-sign the eight. That's I very good. That. I would give it a seven, but I feel like that's too low because right. I mean... The seven feels appropriate, but it just feels too. Long. I get it. Yeah, if you are in Tampa or the state, I don't know where they Tampa distribute. Or. Yeah, go for it. Um, Thank you. Yeah, check out go Dade get City that. Brewhouse. Big fan. Dade City Brewhouse. I yeah, go there. That's that's very good. Thank you guys. Yeah, so we're sitting here Sunday evening, Sunday night. Uh, you guys went to the game, nice. but you had an entire. I mean, it was like daddy daycare over here for. <laughs> the weekend. Yeah, for 72 hours. Yeah. It's like, how do I got to try to think yeah. back? Like, what was the first thing we had? So Friday. Uh, Friday was the first thing. Um, the kids went to Urban Air. And while they were there, I stayed home. And the kid, normally, normally, I'd go with them. Yeah. Because they don't have school on Friday. So I was like, I'm going to stay home. And they're like, oh, Dad, why don't you come to Urban Air with us? Like, we gotta do. I said, well, guys, I'm just going to stay home. You know, got to, excuse me, got a couple things I got to do. So while they went, I, it was cold. Yeah. Hey, anybody that's not, if you're in Pittsburgh, you knew what this weekend was like. If you're not from Pittsburgh, it was very cold this weekend. Yes. Um, like today, it was, I think the, the game, like the wind chill was like in the teens. I wanted so, no enough, part of that. Enough. So I'm out there on Friday and I'm like, all right, here we go. So I go out there and I proceed to line my backyard <laughs> like a football field because my son's birthday party wish yeah was to have a football themed oh football theme okay 
Did, did Ash make all those snacks? Yeah. <laughs> um, her saying? stuff is way better than that. <laughs> way better. I was gonna say I was pretty impressed with his snacks. Um, and and so anyway, it was football themed. So I, I I so he wanted to have his some friends over, right? And they were gonna do um, a football game, flag football game. Well, they wanted a football game. I decided to do flag football. You didn't win because tackle ten things yeah. can happen. Yeah. Two hand touch. There's gonna be a lot of controversy. Mm -hmm. To me, flag football eliminates the controversy. You either rip the flag off or you didn't rip the flag off. Yep. Nothing else to it. Right. So it's gonna be six on six, and he says, "Dad, I want you know we want you to be the all time quarterback for both teams." And I felt you know honored that right. someone would want me to be quarterback. <laughs> and I'm just saying. Um, do you know you know how to do that still? So, you, you know, it's been a while, <laughs> but uh, you know, I was gonna give it a shot. I was gonna get my best. I'm gonna give it everything That's I have. That's all you can do, man. Try and lead the team to victory. Well, one way or another, I'm gonna win. Yeah, I'm just. You, I'm a winner. You didn't lose. I didn't lose. Yeah. Um, we almost had a tie though. But uh, <laughs> anyway, so I go out. I have the like the line. I'm I'm, I'm walking. I got the the paint. I'm walking it. And I'm lining in the field. I got. I actually got some the paint like for for football for like fields. Okay. So it's a water base. So it comes off in the rain. Whatever. Right. So I'm out there and I'm doing it, and I got like I think it was a four, I made a 40 yard roughly field. It kind of went sideways in the backyard, maybe not 40 yards. That's 40 yards including the end zones, I believe. Okay, I don't even remember what it was anymore. It's pretty big. I'm so so delirious. <laughs> yeah. um, got pylons. Yes. Okay. You did have legit pylons. Pylons. I painted a 10 at the at the mid. And so instead of like at the Steeler game, you know, there's a Steeler logo. Right. I painted a 10 there for him. One end zone, I, I spray painted jam mm. in blue or in gold. And the other other side, I wrote like a 10 in, in blue. So I, you know, I tried to make the whole field. I tried yes. to do something special for him. And so a funny story about that, actually, is I was going um, and doing it and lining it and all that kind of stuff. I um, I ran out of spray out of the paint. Okay. And I'm like one end zone to do, just the outline. Okay, so just like literally like the end zone, the back line, and I think one sideline. So I was like, ah, I don't have any more of the like the, the athletic water base. So I'm like, let me find some. So I called down to the the local Sherman William Sherman Sherwin Sherwin Sherman Sher Sherwin Williams. Yeah, the paint store. It's uh, Richard Sherman's paint store. <laughs> called what it was. <laughs> I called down to the um, local paint store. They didn't have it. Like okay, so I go online, look at Home Depot. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, it looks like they have some at Home Depot. So I'm, I'm like, jump in the car. They're still gone because I want to have it done by the time they get back. It was like a surprise. Yeah, okay, just, yeah, just yeah. kind of like, I mean, I don't know what he, if he even knew, but I want, yeah, I wanted to have like kind of something cool. Sure. Run down to the Home Depot. I walk in, I'm like, run in. I'm like, okay, I don't have much time. I just need like one, one can. That's all I need. Right. So I go to the paint area, and there's two people working there, a lady and a gentleman. And I say to the lady, I'm like, kind of standing like, like there, and I was like, and she like doesn't even like, she looks at me from like a like. 20 feet away, like, can I help you? And I'm like, like, do I come to you a little bit? Or are you going to come, like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, they're so far, we're so far away. Hey, real quick, you're down yeah, there. Yeah, like, and I'm like, we're not in COVID, right? Like, this is not, <laughs> we're done with this, right? So I kind of was like, yeah, I kind of, like, took some steps. And she's just standing there, and I was like, um, hey, I was I was looking for some some paint for a field. Like, and I'm kind of explaining what I want to do. Mm. And uh, I'm like, I, I, I kind of walk, because I did do the walk down the aisle first. Sure. And I'm like, gosh, there's a lot of spray pants. I'm like, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm like, oh, this could be a lot quicker. I got to go. So, <laughs> ma'am, can you help me with this? And she says, um, yeah, we have some of that stuff down there. It's got a two on the can. Okay. I, 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 so, okay. Like, in, anywhere, can you tell me, like, just this whole <laughs> row right here, there's this 100-foot line of, of, of paint? Yeah, it's somewhere good there. Look for a two. So I'm like, okay, so it just has a two on it? Like, I'm, I'm, like is there any specific? Like, I'm, she goes, yeah, all the water-based all the water -based stuff has a two on or a two X or something. I'm like, okay. So I go back down. I proceed to finally find the two, a can with a two. The only one I could find with a two on it right. and an X. And it says like paint, uh, um, furniture, paint, <laughs> lacquer. So I, you know, that's I'm, it. That's I'm the like, one you want. I'm like, no way. So I'm like, okay, don't go back and ask again. I look like an idiot. Look, 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 look. I'm like, okay, I don't have time for this. So I go back to the to the little area. They're they're both still standing there, and I was like, excuse me, <laughs> just one more quick question about the two on the, the, the paint with the two and the X on it. I said, is it um anything else? Down there, that could be it, maybe. Right. And the, the guy was like, and I said, anyway, you could show me, anyone, either one of y'all, because right. they're not helping anybody. They're just chilling. Just standing there. I'm like, any way either one of you guys could help me with this. Just just real quick, walk down. It shouldn't take but 15 seconds. Right. And he's like, oh, he goes, yeah, sure, I'll help you. I'm like, oh, thanks, I appreciate it. It's just kind of hard when you guys point from way down there where to go. <laughs> and so he takes me, and I tell him what I need. He takes me on a completely different aisle. You, that's the problem, bro. You was in the wrong aisle. 
The whole time. But then, <laughs> as I got down the aisle, he takes me to these like 10 gallon buckets of paint. That's so right. I said, hmm. I said, so I was looking, like, I have the little walk behind walker thing. It's got yeah. the wheel on it, and you spray paint. He goes, oh, you need the spray paint. I said, yes. I, yeah, yeah, I need the spray paint for a field. He goes, oh, yeah, well, I don't think we have that. <laughs> now, I've been there for like 10 it's or 15 like a movie, minutes dude. Now. And I'm like, oh, you don't? I said, she said, the lady said something about like a two and an X. He's like, no, that's not. <laughs> don't, no. She don't even work here, man. I'm like, <laughs> I'm so frustrated now. So I go back. I'm like, I'm going to find it. I'm going to find something. I got to go. And so I go and all I, so all I find is like marker paint, mm -hmm. right? But it's the marker paint that you use like to, to, to mark underground like wires or things that doesn't come off. Oh, yeah. That's, that stuff stays. Yes. Good for you. I said, this all you have? They're like, yeah, that's all we have. <laughs> And I'm like, huh. I'm like, well, I'm thinking to myself. I'm, so I'm in my head. I'm like, okay, grass isn't growing in Pittsburgh right now. I spray this on there. So and I said to the guy, the only way this is coming off when the grass goes right, he's like, yeah. Tight. I'm like, awesome. I said, at this point, I don't care. I got to go. <laughs> so in probably a week, I'm going to have three lines in my backyard. Yeah, dog. <laughs> just lines. Just, just, you'll have an end zone just oh, in your back. Awful. <laughs> Good for you. Um, so anyway, I, I flew home, got it done. <laughs> He was super excited, um, but that was my that was my Friday. That's amazing. Yes, it was amazing. That's amazing. You go to the home. See, that's where you messed up, Pittsburgh man. You should have went to PPG Paints, bro. They would have hooked you up. PPG. We don't need the paint anymore, but can you send, yeah. can you send it in for next time? Yeah, it was unbelievable. So, so that that's was, your Friday. That was my Friday. Well, that was the first part of Friday. Yeah, and then ben, and then Benjamin had a sleepover. So some yes. so the the boys came over and his. So, <laughs> so his sleepover, that's what he wanted to do. So he wanted to have a sleepover on Friday yeah. and then the football game on Saturday and then Steeler game Sunday. That was the weekend. Just going to lay it out for everybody. Good for you. Sleepover, in his mind, sleepover means no sleep. Right, right. And I was like, rolls. But that's called a that's called an all-nighter. Yeah. Well, we don't, we're 10, we don't, <laughs> we don't do all-nighters in this house. And so he was so, when I, when I, so I told him, I said, hey, buddy, this is my, this is my thought for you. Okay, I want you to have a great time. You can go watch football games you can go watch movies you can right. play i mean do whatever the heck you want to do i said um but but i'm thinking like you know big day tomorrow with your friends coming over the party like football game i said i'm thinking maybe like two o'clock we should think about getting i feel i felt it was very reasonable uh, yeah for 10 year olds very yeah, reasonable. i feel like a two yeah and he was like <laughs> hit you with the quiver lip my man sent you with he was like dad i i had a plan and I'm like, I believe that a jammer uh, would have a yeah. plan. Yes, I, I, I had a, I had a plan. I said, okay. I said, but what's your plan? He said, so I, I, I was thinking that we, we should like, we can do all kinds of things, and then like four or five o'clock, we'll, we'll like go to sleep, and then we'll sleep till like eleven or twelve, and then we'll be ready for the friends to come over. <laughs> and I'm like, but that, that sounds like a decent plan. To a certain extent, mm -hmm. other than the fact that there's no sleep there, mm -hmm. plus you're not going to sleep till eleven or twelve. Like right. It just doesn't. You don't do that. Right. You wake up every day at seven o'clock for school. You're not going to do. I, so now I have to go to bed at like one thirty or two, and I'm like, buddy. He's like, well, I mean, why do we have to sleep? I'm like, dude, like, really? <laughs> just because you're human, you're a limited <laughs> being, my brother. He was so frustrated. <laughs> he was so frustrated that it wasn't going to be an all night like thing. And I'm like, do you even know if your friends like maybe they want to sleep? Right. Do you have you? Like no thoughts about that. So you know, you're asking me a question or we keep going. <laughs> yeah, no, dude, no. That's what's wild. What's wild to me though is like they could probably have actually stayed up until four or five. At ten years old, I'm thinking about Funny it. Funny you should say that. Did it happen? <laughs> so, so just the way you wound you should, up. Funny I, you should say that. So the last sleepover he did was at one of the buddies' houses who was here. Yeah. And they bragged that they went to bed at six and got up at eight. I'm like, that's, no, that doesn't yeah, sound fun. Too old for Maybe this. when I was that young, I was fun. But I was like, oh, my goodness. Like, it was like, we stayed up all night. We didn't get any <laughs> sleep. So, anyway, we finally, it was like, and so we, we felt like we needed to stay awake. I mean, they're 10 years old. They, yeah, they're, that's, they're that's my point. Like, but we felt like we should stay awake at least, like, to, to just make sure everything's okay. Yeah. At least till it's like, okay, now you guys go down and watch a movie. It's like 1.30 or 2, I think. They're like, hey, listen, we'll put a movie on for you. Yeah. And now you can, and then we can go to bed knowing that you guys are watching the movie and everything's right. pretty much settled. You guys can fall asleep. Sure. Knowing that Benjamin's not falling asleep during the movie because if the movie's over, he's like, oh, let's run one more back. <laughs> right. So I'm like, hey, bud, 
I'm going to go get a shower. I said, I'll be back down in like 30, 40 minutes. Not taking 30, 40 minutes, but I'm going to come back yeah. down and I'm going to shut it all off so you all can get some sleep. Right. And they're going to sleep in the basement on the couches. Like, great, yeah, great. Yeah. So I'm like, I came down, shut it down for them. They looked actually, one of them, the one that was sleeping here, the, the friend looked a little sleepy. Benjamin's like, you know, he's like, I'm not going like, <laughs> He was <laughs> drinking espresso. He looked just like, <laughs> oh, I'm not tired, dad. Like, I'm ready to go. <laughs> um, but anyway, so we shut it down and I'm like, Night, night. Yeah. Like time for dad to go to bed. So we're in, like, we go to sleep. And this is what time? Like, like one thirty, two o'clock. Good for you, So man. not bad. Good for right? you, though. So I go to sleep. I woke up at, you know, I got up in the morning and they were up. I was like, hmm, what am I not sleeping in, boys? <laughs> Ashley's like, well, little did you know that at three o'clock I went down there because they were still up and they went up because they went up to, at three o'clock they went up to his room. Yeah. Started reading and doing things up in the room, in his room now, and couldn't <laughs> sleep again. So Ashley decides to go up there and talk to him at like 3 or 3 30. I'm I was dead through the whole, all of this. <laughs> I was like, oh, sorry, sweetheart. I, I should have been there with you. Yeah. So they ended up being up till three or so, three or three thirty, four maybe, and, and didn't go to sleep and got up at eight. Good for you, man. Yeah. So my, that was there there's Friday. Yeah. So that's the start. That is the start of a weekend. Yes. And then Saturday happens, and I was there for the majority of Saturday. Saturday was the football game. And I got home from All Saturday, and I crashed. Oh, boy. Like, Yeah, Saturday was fun. I mean, it was a lot of setup. Like I, like I said, yeah. setting up the – I said chairs up kind of like a little bleachers. We yeah. had – um we had these the big Gatorade jugs, you know. Yeah. As you know, just telling the people, yeah, yeah. Gatorade jugs. One was full of water. One was full of hot chocolate. We had all the candy, and we had water. Ashley had water bottles made with their names on it. Kids had cleats on. We had a coin toss. Yeah. We played uh, sticks. Yes. Uh, Renegade yep. was uh, was played outside. <laughs> we had we had a we had a a, a game. Yes. Four ten minute quarters. Yes. And at one point. I remember you saying I, hear, I heard you because you came over and like I asked you to film some of it just for, for what do you call it? Pros, prosper, prosper, prosperity steak? I don't know prosperity. whatever, just just for the fact of having it, uh, for future reference. Um, and basically, at one point I heard you say filming the NFL was much easier than this. Yes. Um, we had uh, so I was the head official and quarterback. We had and then my our friend Chris Canole, who we talked about last week, had a question for Bob. Um, was one of the refs who had an air horn. Yes. Uh, we had another friend, Brendan Conley, who was another ref. Um, so that was great to have some help out there. We had instant. We actually needed. We actually needed your cameras like three times, two or three times for like replay. <laughs> there was well, yes. I should say this too before we talk about replay. At one point, Benjamin says to me, "Hey, Dad, are we going to set cameras up so we have instant replay?" <laughs> I'm like, buddy, it was dead serious. I'm like, buddy, it's not that serious, pal. We're, <laughs> we're, it's, it's freezing out here, by the way. We're not. It's not that serious. Did I ever? Did I ever tell you though? Okay, so when you took the halftime break, yeah, I would. I, they're like, they're like, what happened to the three minute halftime? And I was like, hey, we're at commercial break, like as a joke. Yeah. And I was sitting there with my camera, and one of the kids goes, "Are people watching this right now?" <laughs> <laughs> like it's live. <laughs> I was like, no, buddy, no, not that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so we wanted like legit cameras, but there were like two or three instances where like you were just happened to be like around the end line or something, and a yes. ball was on the back line. We had to go look at it and stuff, and it was funny because when we did the replay, we did it just like a TV. We're like all we all looked together, <laughs> and I was like, after further review, the call in the field stands. Yes, and like the, but the kids would like as we did like the kids would all stand around us, and we'd call and half the group would be like, yeah, and the other half would be mad. It was it was one of the it was so fun, and then yeah, we did the quarters, and then we did um. A halftime break, and the halftime break was like as the pit game was winding down. Some of these like TCU, like there's some really good football games yeah. on. So we're like, all right, three minute halftime. We went in, and like all the dads like grabbed beers and <laughs> yes, stuff. And we're yes. like, <laughs> we're like, okay, and they're like, all right, is the game coming back on? What are we doing? So we went back out and finished the game. Um, I threw a pick six. <laughs> yeah, Just, man. If anyone's watching this, the game was rigged to keep it close. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it came down to the, to the last play, like literally the last play of the game. It did. It really did. Um, uh, Sant caught a touchdown to win it. Um, so it was, it was really cool. I think they had a great time, and then they just kept playing till dark. But we went in and called it a night. Yeah, well, didn't call it a night. We called it a game day. <laughs> and so then did the birthday. Um, had an awesome barbecue truck come. But but again, it was another late. And then our fam then the family came after all the friends left. Our family yeah, I was came. Say, that's the first party. Yeah. There was two parties that all night. All the family came. Not all the family, but my parents, her parents, um, 
and my sister and brother-in-law, they all came and hung out till nine or something. Yeah. And then they left. So it was just like another long day. Like, yeah. Boy. So that was, those were the, the, the two days. That's so. wild, man. So I, I did ask you this. Um, I think it I think it was Saturday when we were setting up and, and you were just in the midst of all the, the craziness. I don't know if, uh, if you had time for it to settle in, but I, I remember asking you like, Hey, what does it feel like to know that your, your oldest kid is double digits now, man? Now that you've had some time, has that, has that, has that settled in at all? Yeah. I mean, a little bit like tonight when we got him in bed, um, just said like a, like when we did our prayer, um, yeah. Ashley was up, there's just me and her and him. And just as I was praying, I felt like it just kept coming, you know, mm -hmm. like yeah. just thanking God for the amazing young man that he is. He's become his heart, um, his, 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 compassion for things and his love and just to see him grow. Uh, I just thank God for his amazing young Christian friends, mm -hmm. his school. I mean, ju just what he's done and become, because it's been so cool to see, you know, you walk through the house and see pictures. Um, I got a, what is that thing on the, the iPhone where the memories come, like yeah. the photo things come yeah. and it came and as you're scrolling through, uh, there's pictures of him on there and it just, it, it's really cool. I, I think it's in one sense, it's sad, right? Like you're like, oh my goodness, like I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. probably, probably, probably extra sad for mom. Like mom's always sure. like, it's always more. Sure. For me, like it's it's definitely like, golly, I can't believe it. But yet you're also proud in the sense that like, man, what he's become, like yeah. you've seen him grow up a little bit, seeing, and you still have a lot of work. Like I just said, I, I told, I heard, he heard me pray this tonight. Like, like, yes, he, like God, he is yours. Like yeah. he is your child. You just, gave us mm. the privilege yeah. and the responsibility to be his earthly parents, mm -hmm. to raise him while he's here to do the best we can. We hope we make you proud yeah, you know, to do this. That's and so heavy, bro. it was just, but it was just so cool. Like we want him to know that, that, you know, that how, how loved he is. Um, he's a special young man. Um, and he'd grown up, I mean, like one of the, one of his gifts was he got a, he got his first like compound bow. Thank you, Matthews. <laughs> big shouts. Um, yeah. Big yeah. shouts, Matthews for that. But he's like super excited about that. Yeah. And, but yet he's still a kid in the sense that he's, you know, he got Pokemon cards and right. stuff. So it's just fun to still, you know, walk that line of, of both being a young man, but still being right. a boy. Right. Um, but, but he's, it, it was just so, it's so cool. Do you like as a dad? So obviously I have a, one-year-old daughter uh who just had a birthday yeah she just turned one birthday Keith. i know that's crazy man and um it just i, I just think raising a son I, like as a man th there's that moment that you start to look at your son more like a man and you and you almost demand that that level of responsibility that they start taking that mm -hmm. are you seeing that you know hitting 10 years old are you seeing that ushered in more because i felt like as long as i've known jam and i just felt like he was way smarter than his age gave to him mm -hmm. i remember having a conversation with him who was like six yeah that's that's that was one of the things that people would always say is like like people in our in our circle yeah when he's when he feels comfortable talking um i remember Joe Nolan, uh, our financial advisor, he was here and like he was probably six, maybe younger. And he came and he was like, Ben, I just had a full fledged conversation <laughs> with like a six year old yes. on like side by side, the difference between like a, a ranger side by side and a Kubota. Right. And like a mule, like the differences of like why. And he goes, I feel educated. Yes. He goes, and, and I thought I was talking to him like a, 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 a man, <laughs> like, like a full grown man. And that's what he's always, he's always been able to communicate really, really well. And that's why we think like, like we always feel like maybe he could be like an announcer or something. Yeah, like he man. loves sports. He loves to communicate, um, but he does a great job. He he has always spoken and been aware way beyond his years. Yeah, uh, which is which is really neat. And just to see him continue to do that um, is really fun. Yeah, because I always felt like he was not just smart but wise. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's one thing that, especially when you you're talking about, just because I mean, the only reason I bring that up is is beyond my own gen like genuine curiosity is because you have that, the, uh, the your foundation is doing so much with, with father sons. I think uh -huh. it's so cool to where, you know, your oldest is walking into that, like that manhood journey. And it's really cool for me to be able to watch it because even I was talking with him yesterday and I was like, oh, dude, like I have to talk to you different. Yeah. Like you're like a little man now, mm -hmm. you know? And, and it was always been like, oh, hey, Jamin, what's up, buddy? And it's like, oh no, like, like he he's so wise, man. And like for yeah. for his age, I mean, you know that's kudos to you and Ash, man, and the uh, community cool. that you guys. We're, have... we're like I said, we're just his earthly parents, and we're we're trying to do the best we can. But uh, we have been blessed with a very 
awesome young man. Yeah, we all should be very proud, man. And and the third day of this um, triathlon of <laughs> celebration, obviously, uh, it results in going to the Steeler game. And so there's plenty to talk about that today. Yeah. So I think, but before we do that, let's show them to this, the second beer because um, this one is from good old New Jersey. 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 Mm. Yes, sir. It is called Irish Amnesia. Yes. And no, it's not a stout. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but they did. So this is from Opportunity Brewing Company out of Flemington, New Jersey. All right. It was sent in by Rob. So thanks, Rob. Thanks, Rob. Yeah. Thanks, it is a West Coast style IPA, which I'm okay. you'll enjoy. It's 7.1. Yeah. The IBU, I did oh. not get. Oh, my goodness. Please show that. Sorry, bud. I didn't mean to get your whole... <laughs> I wish we had a camera because it just That's exploded all over my all over his <laughs> pants, <laughs> all over. The, I'm I'm helping you. I just yeah. I, just I mean, I can't do this pants. by myself, dude. You Cheer. saw I just shake that up, Rob. Oh. What are we doing, Rob? I'm blaming <laughs> this on Rob. One hundred percent. Oh, who's different? I'm the only one looking for. We need to beat. We need like a, a <sighs> beat. Like we need something. That was we. Here, yeah, that's. I don't even know what to do. What's first? It's not even the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. I'm yeah. not going to clean your pants off. Just so you know. No, that's fine. Go for it. <laughs> I thought we were friends, man. I thought we were friends. <laughs> this is, this is, guys, this is, this is gross. Professional. Yeah, guys, you listen, don't, people, listen, you don't get this kind of stuff on ESPN. Okay. It's probably this. Probably did not look really good, but just down. It's, it's, no, it's, it's on the floor. We'll, okay. fix, we'll fix it in post. This is unbelievable. We don't, we don't edit anything. Dude, I'm, I'm legitimately. Is my leather chair okay? Yeah, I wiped it down. That's good. This is real leather? I don't know. I yeah, if it's real leather, we probably you're going to have some issues on this wipe. one. I don't, I don't know anything about it. That is really kind of funny. Like, I wish. You saw that, though. That was a clean. I, did, I mean, that was. I feel like this was a, a like a Is that plant. you dropped and rolled, I, I rolled to you? Brother, come on, man. This is. Oh. I. Well, I'm like my dude. I'm telling to you, right now, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'm soaking wet right now. This oh, oh, it, it, oh I can see. Like it went. Like if y'all don't understand, like it went <laughs> nuts. It wasn't like a typical, like just a little foam. Like he no. got a lot on him. Dude. Is there any beer left in there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all, all right. This hey, is starting I'm from the negative. Yeah. Hey, man. I, People I, are gonna go. I mean, I'd be laughing at me. That was a special episode already. <laughs> hey, listen. From what I understand, it's delicious, but it's uh, lunch. Jeez. All right, Rob. Rob. It's not a good. Uh, uh, not a good look, Rob. I'm over here. Listen, Rob, I'm over here at work just Rob, trying. <laughs> Rob's probably like, hey, guys, learn how to open a beer. Yeah. Listen. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> okay. Well, for those of you guys listening uh, uh, without the video, I just opened oh, a beer oh, and it right. exploded. If you're, if you're listening, um, yeah. go find the video to watch, <laughs> please, because it was worth every minute of that. Dude, you are so I'm good, dude. I'm gonna be honest. I'm so uncomfortable right now. I'm so. I'm so. Do you want so, we go get we find a pull up or something? No, no, no. It's fine. I have my own diapers. It's good. Yeah. Oh All my right. Goodness. Before can we before we do this, Spence? I'm sorry. Yeah, dude. We're gonna do a, a quick commercial break. But please. Um, bounty. <laughs> <laughs> the quicker, bigger, upper. <laughs> um. Oh, jeez. Holy cow. That was unbelievable. Yeah, thank you, Paper Towels, for that. Just in general. Um, also, I do. We do need to. I do want to say just because, real quick, as our commercial break, um, you had mentioned the father son thing. Yeah. Corriente Saddles sent two saddles. They gave us. They donated two what? saddles for um, uh, for the farm for the foundation. So everybody at Corriente, um, thank you so much uh, for that for for the. Um, for the boys, they're, they're youth saddles. Nah. So it'll be for the kids. Oh, nice, dude. Um, so really, they're, they're great saddles. We have them for our kids and stuff. So great saddle company. Um, they sent two of them in. Again, just thank you guys so much for your generosity. Um, they will be used uh, quite a bit. So thank you very much. So That's awesome. Uh, thanks. Appreciate it. That is awesome. Um, let's jump into this. It, it is, smells. It's like, a West Coast style IPA. It's 7.1%. IBU, I don't have uh, it. I will say this. Um, it smells like an IPA, really. And it does? I mean, not, I mean, it does. But you want to you smell my pants? It's, nope. Because that, that smells like an IPA. Uh, yeah, it is uh, quite absorbent with fabrics. <laughs> it's the most absorbent IPA I've ever seen. Oh. Uh, but it's sent in by Rob. It's from Opportunity Brewing. Yeah. Yeah, and you have a handful of them. They they sent in. Oh, do uh, we? Yeah. They oh, sent nice. in a couple couple of them. So Okay, well let's try. All it. right. 
Where we forget all of our troubles. <laughs> Other than Spence, if he spilled on his <laughs> pants, he's, we're gonna remember that forever. Yes. See, that doesn't. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's got a little. Okay, the finish was a little different than I expected. Oh yeah. How so? I don't know. <laughs> so okay, but here's the thing: people, people probably think you do those like this process of tasting for the show that's actually just like that's how you taste beers yeah <laughs> yes yeah it tastes all beers that way yes and if you're listening you probably they're probably like wow this, what's going on yeah what's happening um wow did you try it yet yeah yeah so so it the 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 back end of it it finishes like a um it's maltier it finishes almost like a brown ale it's not super hoppy no, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't it? Did, it didn't hit me. The initial mouth feel isn't. Um, I can't, I mean, it's it definitely tastes like a West Coast style IPA. But it's not hop. It's but, not. But it doesn't have the hoppiness. Of, like it feels much more malt forward. We're getting better at this. We're getting good at this descriptions. <sighs> I like it. I do. Um, it's seven point one though, but it does not taste like. Does, no, I, I would never say that. No, that you, you would think it's seven. That's that one's dangerous. Um, sorry, I'm gonna put it back in the beer can. I'm just having one little sip. Do another little nipper. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it, it it is a little um, a, a tick heavier. That's what it looks like. Um, with the 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 finish that 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 the end. A little, little bite. A little bit. Not, yeah. not, it's not bad at all. It's, mm -hmm. I, I like that. That's very good. Mm -hmm. um, it's one I would say, like, oh, yeah, I could drink a bunch of those, but you can't because it's, well, I couldn't. I mean, maybe at home, you know. Yeah, yeah don't, you, please don't drink a drive. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you ain't got nothing to do tomorrow, you can drink a, as many of those as you, you like. Uh, it's very, yeah, it's very good. It's, um, I feel like it's a good, like, fall, wintry. You know what would be good? You out camping with the homies. And you, you use the snow as your cooler? Yes. That one right it. there. Just that's the one you want. No, I like it. That's yeah. good. Uh, that's a that's that's a smooth seven for me. Yeah? Uh, yeah, I like okay. that. Six and a half, seven. Yeah, I'll go six, five. Um, very good. Thank you, Rob. And like it. That's yeah. good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, and they, uh, they sent in a couple of them. So, um, there is a stout that you just want me to pour that out tonight? What, what do you want me to do with that one? Dude, you know you know that there's gonna be another stat on the show, though, right? Good choice of not bringing that out tonight. <laughs> there's gotta grumpy, be one. Grumpy Ben would have come out. <laughs> you, this would have been grumpy footballing. <laughs> you won't like me when I'm angry. Oh, that's amazing. Um, no, that's good. Yeah, it's a solid six five. So, you Thank know, you. Um, I I think as we are, you know, journeying journeying through this weekend, yeah. you know, you guys end up going to the game uh, today and. You know, Jam what a handful of Jamin's friends were able to go yep. as well Some and experience that. And uh, I, I thought, as far as the team played, uh, it was it was probably the first time I saw an offensive spark that resulted in points consistently. Mm -hmm. And I and it was really fun first to watch. Half. The yes. first half was a different first half than I've seen all year. Yes. Um, so I would love to hear your breakdown of that game. Yeah. Well. We, you know, first off, as the, as the day goes, like I said, Jam's all excited. And I'm like, hey, go get ready for church. And, and we're going to go to church first mm -hmm. and then go. And he comes down in his Pat Fryerman jersey. I'm like, but we weren't at the church today? And he's like, yeah. I said, okay, so we're just going to, that's going to be on all day. <laughs> yep. I said, okay. Um, so I took a picture and sent it to Pat. I said, hey, I'm not sure why he loves you so much, man, but this is what he wore to church today. He's like, that's my guy. Um, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, so we went to the game, and um, I, I thought they I, I thought they started out really well. Yeah. Um, I thought Kenny looked well. Kenny looked good. Naj ran really hard. Um, uh, I still I still I know I know I, I go against the grain a little bit with with some of the things like Coach Cower and some people say, mm -hmm. but I still like to see some more shots down the field. Um, we did have you know I, I know that later on um, George caught um, Pickens caught one. Yeah, um, down the side of a great play, and obviously his touchdown was nice. He got he got twisted around a little bit on the deep one, which would have got called back because it was holding. Yeah, uh, Kenny scrambled left a little bit, but um, for the most part, 
um, I thought the first half looked was, was looked really really good. I thought uh, I think it was twenty or twenty three points in the first half, mm-hmm. which is I think more than they've had. A, I don't have the stats in front of me like yeah. these guys do, but I feel like that's more than they've scored in a lot of games. Yes, um, 100%. I think Kenny threw yeah 140, 150 yards in the first half. I mean, it looked like the kind of game you want to see. Right. Um, third downs, they were really really good on third down in the first half. Um, and so you go into halftime with a lead, um, took advantage of opportunities. Um, you know, like I said, I thought guys ran hard and, and, and Naj ran hard. Um, I, I guess Jalen Warren got hurt maybe or yeah, something. Yeah, I saw I didn't, that I didn't, hamstring. Yeah, yeah, so I think that's that, unfortunate, man. Um, you know, maybe hurt a little bit in, in the second half to like maybe give Naj that breather and mm-hmm. give a little different burst. But um, overall, I thought they played well. A um, couple opportunities missed, but but I don't think it hurt anything. Um, but then, but then you know, you go to halftime with a lead, yeah. feeling good. I thought the defense played really well in the first half as well. Um, I think as you come out in the second half, as the offense started to struggle a little bit, a couple three and out. Like you get, we always talk about that double score. I know Charlie talked about it when you can score at the end of the first half, yeah. and you get the ball back in the, in the beginning of the second half to get that double score. Even if it's three and three, mm-hmm. you'll, you'll take those points. It's just it's like almost free points, if you will. Sure. So it's like okay, they score for half. Like here we go. They come out in the second half, three and out. Mm-hmm. And it's like, ah, shoot. But it, it's okay. It happens. But I thought the second half, it just, I think their third down conversion rate went way down. Mm-hmm. Um, it felt like they couldn't get off the, like they, they had to um, punt a lot, three and outs. Um, just couldn't find their rhythm in the second half for whatever reason. Maybe that's defense figuring it out, whatever. Yeah. Um, I thought that the, the second half, our, our defense played well, but I think they got tired. Just, I mean, when you're on the field so much, you're going to get worn out a little bit. Sure. Now they stepped up and made plays. I mean, um, uh, the intercept, the first interception by Wallace was unbelievable. Oh my goodness! Um, it got tipped, but the fact that he went around and dove and laid out those aren't those plays are plays that DBs you don't make a lot of times. Right. Like that's why they play clean. defense. Right. <laughs> yeah, I love that defense. joke. I love that. But I mean, what an unbelievable play by him. Yeah. Like the first one happened, I thought it was Minka. I saw the nine. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, Mink, like, yeah, yeah. like, and I was like, holy cow, like, great job, Levi. Like, that was that was really, really great. Um, and then obviously TJ, I mean, <laughs> the alien, like, it's not even, like, the funny thing is about that is I felt for Joe. Yeah. Only because I've been there in practice. <laughs> <laughs> like, he and I have played a cat and mouse game many times in practice. Yes. Where he'll, like, you know, we do the seven shots against each other, so we're on the two-yard line, so he knows the ball's coming out quick. Right. And he has batted them down. He's intercepted them. <laughs> I, and I've been able to get him a couple of times where we would, like, have fun with each other where I'd kind of pump like this and throw around him or do something. Right. And he'd look at me like, why would you throw it? Like, we, we would have a lot of fun. That's but awesome. I respect that man so much. And he made that play today, which is just unbelievable. Mm. And then the hard part is they don't, they don't do anything with it. Yeah, I know. You know? And I think that that's... That's that that's, like, demoralizing for a defense. Like, we just did yeah. all this, and now we don't, we don't get points. So I know that they were... I'm hurting. I think another big series that happened in that game was the second was in the second half when um, I forget how it it was off a turnover or what, um, but Naj had a big a big run, mm-hmm. and then there were like two consecutive penalties, mm-hmm. a hold on Pat, which I thought was a little tic tac, yeah, and then there was a. Um, a legal man downfield, which looked like it came off a busted play. Yeah, so that's not really anybody's fault other than whoever busted the play. Yeah. Um, yeah, because it looked like he was supposed to hand that ball off. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I assume it was Naj, but I don't know. Yeah. Which I'm not going to accuse anyone of it without knowing for sure. sure. But I think, but that just like kept backing, yeah. backing them up and taking them out of range. It's like, holy cow, you guys have a chance. And so I just felt like the second half um, went, de- they just couldn't, couldn't mm-hmm. sustain yeah. good stuff. They couldn't convert their downs. I felt like, um, it just didn't look like there was that explosion in the second half right. like you saw in the first. And I know you mentioned like oh, maybe it's the defense, you know, figuring you out. Do you think that's that's the case, or do you think it's uh, some some limit other limitation on the offense? Because it did feel in the first half like oh my gosh, they figured it out. All right, the bye week happens, then you have 
uh, New Orleans, which was, you know, a, you know, a team on a decline short week, you know, you can yeah. chalk up whatever excuse you want, but I thought they, you know, they, they were able to pull something together and put together a win and they come out and then they start playing like that mm-hmm. against a team that's, you know, pretty decent. Yeah. And granted, they didn't have that's Jamar Chase, in. right? So they, but, yeah. but still, man, it, it, it was, uh, it was the first time I was watching it. I was like, okay, so the, the, the picket Pickens connection, they're, they figured that out. Yeah. That, that looks great. All right. That's going to be a problem. All right, and then they, 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 this, like you said, Naj was running. They seemed to figure that out, you know, and before, uh, you know, Warren got, got injured. But then coming out in the second half, I felt like they had forgotten everything. Yeah. What else could contribute to that outside of maybe just the defense figuring it out? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I think, I thought, I thought Kenny played a good game. I really do. Yeah. I thought he did some really good things. Um, he did miss a guy in the second half up the seam for a touchdown. Um, but but you're gonna that's gonna happen. It happens, so it's, sure. yeah, it's not sure. like it's a big deal, um, in, in the sense of that. But but I just feel like there was maybe ill timed plays. Yeah, you know we got behind the sticks. Whether it was penalties, whether it was plays, whether it was um, execution, the play call. Like mm-hmm. I, I to not be in there to know what what it is. Sure. I, I I can't. I hate to comment on something without knowing it. What from the just from an observation from sitting up sure. high. That's yeah. that's too hard to do. Um, but but some of the stuff just was like, mm, man, I just don't, I, I don't know. And 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 it could have been um, the defense figuring it out, but it just mm-hmm. I, it lacked something. The second, it just didn't feel like there was the same spark the second half. Yeah, and you know how much of that is Cincinnati just you know making the plays. Well, yeah, I mean, and and I, and it's, it felt too like like sometimes you talk about defenses like being on the field so much, yeah. right? Like if the offense is going three and out, the defense is out there so much, like they're getting tired. Well, there's also the flip side of that where the offense is on the sideline so much that you think like, oh, they're getting rest. They are, but you're also losing your rhythm. Sure. You're losing your flow. You're losing that 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 feel of the game. Mm. And so that's hard to do too. Um, and when you're going three and out and, you know, maybe the other team's putting drives together right. um, and, and you just can't get into the flow, That that's tough. That's hard for an offense, too. Mm. It's hard for a quarterback. It's hard for a young quarterback. Um, but, you know, again, I, I don't I don't know. I, I thought I thought in that first half especially there were big steps, big strides. Yeah. I, I thought I was impressed with the way they were playing. I thought Kenny did a good job at times of, like, taking the shot when he needed to but also throwing it away, using his legs when he had to but not doing it too much. Um, I, I think he's going to be. I think he's going to be good. I think he's got a real, real potential to be um, a good football player. Yeah, I know you mentioned. You know, you'd like to see him take a couple more shots downfield. I, I did like the fact that I felt like there were more shots taken downfield in this game than I had seen previously. For sure, you, know you could I mean? see it. Uh, and they missed one. But like I said, a hold got called on it. Um, but, but you, to me, George. Um, Pickens has has yeah. proven that he can make plays down the field. As an animal, they need to, to like let's go. If you see one on one or if you see single high, let it go. Yeah. By the way, um, Herbert just flopped so bad. What's that? Late in the, oh. the late in the first half, minute thirteen to go. He runs. He's running. He goes to the sideline. The defender barely touches him, and he does a whole, whole <laughs> flop room. Did he play? Did he play basketball in, high, in college? Got, what was that? Got the penalty and everything. Good for you, <laughs> Justin. Come on. Um, but anyway, like take some shots. Yeah. Like make it happen. Um, I think, and maybe I'm biased because I I, I I love this guy and I play with him, but I think they need to get Deontay involved more. Yeah. Whatever that looks like. Um, he's a special football player. Um, he can make things happen. Like you got to get involved. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought Pat did some really great things tonight. Like when he, when he got a chance, like that one late in the second half, like the whole place, so he catches it. He's got like four guys on his back. He keeps churning and going Benjamin Jell and Muth up in the, in the box. <laughs> it was so funny. So, um, but, but anyway, I, I just, I, I thought overall they're going to go home from this. It's gonna sting because you lost. Yeah. I mean, there's no if ands or buts about that. But there's got to be a little bit of you that says, okay, this is what we potentially can do. We could put up twenty some in the first half. Let's figure out how to keep it going. Right. Um, so, and, and you've got Monday night next week, so you got right. an extra day. Um, you're going to to to, the, to Indianapolis, like I said, that um, you know struggling in their own rights. And now they've they've played pretty well with a new coach and just Saturday they lost today to. The, Obviously, a good Eagles team, but yeah. it'll be interesting to see kind of what that looks like next week. If they can, what can they can they continue and carry it over? Are they going to like 
right. fall back or are they going right. to keep taking strides? Yeah, and not speaking offensively because the defense obviously is playing is playing pretty darn well. Yeah, well, you got this freaking nature in TJ Watt yeah. that is getting pushed yeah. sideways yeah. and then yeah. ends up with an interception. Man, what an animal, bro! I, uh, you know, you mentioned the Colts. Uh, you know, kind of having some some spark with a new head coach. Yes, they lost. To, mm-hmm. to to the Eagles, but they had him on the ropes yes, almost the, the entire very, time. Very end, for sure. Right. And so that I mean there's something to be said about that. What do you think about that Jeff Saturday uh hire though? It's interesting. Very it interesting. Is. I mean, listen, Jeff was an amazing football player. Right. An amazing football player. Um he uh <laughs> he uh, he was one of my first Pro Bowls I went to. This is when he was with 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 Peyton. Yeah. And um I don't know if this is this if you have kids at home, this isn't. The, I mean, listen, we're not. It's not going to be that bad a story, okay. but just th- this is going to be about as vulgar as we get on the show. Yeah, he tells me we're we're uh, <laughs> we're at the Pro Bowl. We're taking snaps, and usually you're kind of working with your center. So Peyton's working with him a lot, but obviously there's times that we all have to rotate in. Sure. So I go to take my, my snap from Jeff, and I was a guy. So there's kind of like I don't even know how they do it now. Most guys don't even go under center, but when I took a snap. I would always like my hand was never right in the middle, like in sure. the, you know. My, I was always, I was always taught just yeah. put your your hands just off of center. I feel like that. Listen, I've never had that experience, but I feel like that's a thought. That's yeah, consideration. I mean, listen, <laughs> that's pa- pa- hey, pounce. We know it. We know what it is. Just <laughs> off center, right, pounce? Well, that's on the money every time. So I'm off center. We fumble the first snap, and he says, he says, Ben, he said, see that knuckle right there? Put it right in the brown spot. <laughs> I said, nope. <laughs> Peyton, you're back in. So that that's my Jeff Saturday story. He, he said, see that knuckle? I said, no, I will I will not. I'm good on this, bro. I will not. Hey. I'll, I'll head on out. <laughs> so um, anyway, that was that's my Jeff Saturday. But um, Jeff, this is the Pro Bowl, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, we're not doing this. Hey, Pounce. Uh-uh. <laughs> we don't we don't do that, right, Pounce? Um, that's the greatest. But but obviously, an unbelievable football player, great football mind. Um, it was obviously it sparked some controversy because of the non coaching experience. Sure, sure. Which at, at some point, a lot of guys have. You know, there's always got to be a beginning, but is your yeah. beginning as a head coach in the NFL? Are there a lot of other coaches that, on that staff that were probably worthy of it? Sure. Probably. Yeah. Um, as you become a coach, do guys want to play for you? Do the like that's what I would ask. What do the other coaches feel? Mm-hmm. Are they coaching for that guy? Mm-hmm. I saw last week when they scored a touchdown, coaches running by hugging him. Excuse me, do they respect him? Do they are they okay with it? Maybe there's a couple guys that are like, right. man, this could have been me. Right. But but you know what? That man has earned his right in the game. He's earned the opportunity. Um, you know, is is it the same? Because I know there's a Rooney rule where you have to um, at least interview minority coaches, and mm. I, don't, I don't know they did that, which that would make me hesitate for for a second on that stuff. But mm. I, supposedly because it's like an interim head coach, you don't have to do that. I don't know what oh, the, the exact rules are on it. But yeah. listen, if you can motivate a team and the team's okay with it, so be it. They won yeah. their first game, should have won today. Mm-hmm. Um, it'll be interesting. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Yeah, and I'm excited. I'm excited to see um, that Monday night game. For that reason, I feel like both of those teams, the Steelers and the Colts, are are are, are kind of toying with a, a spark right now. Yeah. All right. And so, yes, they both caught L's today, but you know, it, it was unfortunate. I felt for the Steelers to walk away with a loss today because I do feel like they they started to figure some stuff out and it was exciting to watch and I, and, and I didn't go to the game because it's freezing outside and I just my my house was warm yeah you know right. what I'm saying and so uh, I, I felt like the energy in that stadium though was probably something that was like oh my gosh this is okay we're seeing yeah. we're seeing something develop and I would imagine for the same you know the same thing's probably happening in Indianapolis so all right we got this oh you know, there's no doubt there's gonna there's gonna be some juice there uh, on Monday night right. Um, which would be interesting for us is we're, we got to figure out how we're going to do a podcast. I'm going to be out of town, so we got to figure out what we're going to do or if we're going to do one. So <laughs> right. sorry, people, if we can't do one next week. But we haven't said no yet, but we'll see. But, um, yeah, it'll be very interesting to see um, what that place is like, what the energy is like, um, you know, who's coming to play. Mm-hmm. It is – if you're Pittsburgh, are you thinking, okay, we we saw something today. Let's let, let's Let's ride with that. Or, or are you saying we're three and seven? 
playoffs are probably over. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, what 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 do we have left? Yeah. If you're indie, are you saying, hey, we got it, you know, we got we got some here, we got a spark, we got a, you know, like right. there's just there's so many ways that, that both teams could feel and go. So it'll just be interesting to see what happens. Yeah. I, I I don't think that the Steelers are gonna go that way. I know that there's too many guys from Cam to TJ to um, guys in that team that I don't think will let that happen. Just that, sure. like they're not giving up. I don't mean it like that, yeah. but just kind of a, you know, how are you feeling right. um, going into it? So, uh, and speaking of feeling, um, I didn't comment on this, but I feel like I need to because you're talking about the game today. Yeah, it was it was cold. It was one of those days where I'm like I'm glad I'm not out there. But <laughs> last night, Saturday after the game, after the flag, after the game, after the flag football game, <laughs> yeah, that, that's the game that after days. that was the game. Yeah. I was uh, after the fan after my my like parents and my family left. I went to like go clean up. I could barely move. <laughs> I was so sore. <laughs> it was awful. I was so hey, sore. I'm like, what hit. am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? That that's my sign that I was done. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know it was time, man? Because I did a flag football game. Oh. I was all time QB with ten year olds, and I felt like I lost that. That's oh. amazing. Spence, bring yes. us home. One yes. more. One more. One more. And then we can hit real quick on Bob and Pete. Yeah. Bob. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, I am curious to just, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's say this, um, in honor of the, uh, are you, are you bartending today? Yeah, you want one? Yeah, I'll take one. Uh, in honor of the keg of Coors Banquet that is currently pouring. Coors Banquet, Coors Banquet. I feel like. Yellow, there's a commercial for Yellowstone on right now is, is what I'm trying to say. There's an ad for Yellowstone. I feel like when you, when you say Coors Banquet. Banquet, banquet. Banquet, banquet. It should echo every time. I feel like if you say Coors Banquet three times, John Dutton should show up. It's like Beetlejuice. Oh, amen. You know what I'm saying? And, he, and Rip comes with him. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rip shows up just looming in the darkness. So I haven't got to see uh, any of the new season. So uh, you had mentioned that the new season of Yellowstone, it, it's the premiere is in two parts. Right. Right, but it's on the Paramount Network, which is not Paramount Plus, which is, I found out... Um, the hard way. But all of the episodes of Yellowstone I've watched, thank you, I've watched on Peacock, which is NBC. This licensing really? thing is wild right now. Yeah, I, 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 it's, um, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, either way. I'm ready. I did start the Tulsa King, though. Big fan. Okay, okay, cool. Taylor Sheraton Taylor does Sheraton. not seem to Taylor miss. Taylor Sheraton does, knows his stuff, doesn't he? Yeah. All right, so this okay. third and final beer, of course, uh, is called Wally Post. All right. Wally Post. Oh. Yeah, it is an American red ale. It is 5.4%. It is red. Yep. And it is from um, Moeller Brew Barn. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, there is always a chance that I'll get it wrong. Um, but it is out of uh, Maria Stein, Ohio, which uh, this is actually sent to us by uh, listener Troy Sellover. And I believe he's- Troy? Troy. Troy. Okay. Um, I think. Thank he, you, Troy. I believe he was from uh, Lima. Oh, which is your neck of the woods. Yes, that's where I was born. Yes. Yeah, yes, man. That's where my family lived, and family still lives there. So Lima. I, I, I don't know. This isn't from Lima. He's from Lima. Yes. I've never heard of Maria Stein. Ohio. So I don't know where Maria Stein is at. Hey, I wish there was a way we could figure that out. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what they should make this so thing weird. that you can just go and type it in and look it up. Huh. But uh, yeah, so that's what that's what it says. Maria, not Maria Shriver, <laughs> Maria Stein. It is oh. it is red. S T E I N Ohio. There, there's only two red oh, beers that I've. Zoom into this thing or something. <laughs> what do we, how do we do this? Come on. Can someone tell us how uh, Google Maps works, please? Okay, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, what's it by? I'm still zooming out. I see no <laughs> cities. That means it's by nothing. Well then, this. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Oh, okay. We're oh, it, wow. Yeah, it's is it's, it west? It's like yeah, it's around the border. I'm not around the border, but it's like yeah, Western Ohio. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's it's not. It's less just like that far from Ohio yeah. from Lima. I've never heard of it though. Well, hey, we're about to uh, sample some of it's its beers. It must be really small. Hey. And you have to keep zooming in. You know, like you just open <laughs> yes, it up. Like, right. yeah, that's how small it is. Well, Maria Stein, thank you. Mar- Marion. Oh, it's Marion? Like is Marion, it? Ohio? It's not Marion, Ohio, no. though. Um, brother, listen. All right. Anyway, sorry. My, sorry, everybody. My experience sorry, with Ohio there. is extremely limited. Okay. I do have some some 
Ohio stories, though, that I, I won't share here. But it's given me a, a uh, appreciation for Pittsburgh's um, frustration with Ohio. What do we think? The Wally Post American Red. It's not a... What? Is it a, it's not a, is it a sour? It shouldn't be. That, I mean, that's for sure. It's a, a red ale. So there's only two red ales that I remember drinking. It is Killian's Irish Red. Okay, sure. yeah, yeah. I wear that one. That. And then North Country Brewing has a Firehouse Red that is very good. And I don't mean sour, but it's it's got like a... Dog, that is sour. Right? When was this sent in? Is it bad? I don't know. That's kind of sour on the front end, bro. You're born on or is that... I mean, oh. listen. I mean, it's not bad. No, no, but no. It's no. just it's no, no, not no, no, what no. I expected. That's why I'm, that's why I'm confused. A it does bit. taste tart uh, on the front enjoy end. Enjoy in a glass. Well, this is a glass. I mean, enjoy that's... in a glass for best flavor and aroma. Did we mess Ohio up? Ohio craft beer. Can I ask a question? And, and and when I ask this question, of course you can. I thought about it this week. Yeah. And I felt like if I asked this question, that is on the football and uh, with Ben and Spence podcast that drinks beer. Um, people m- might not watch us anymore. Yeah, interesting. Does does a, it, because they're going to be like, boy, we lost all credibility. So I'm sorry, if, if this is our last episode, I'm sorry. I don't think we have much credibility, credibility. anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be honest. I just spilled an IPA <laughs> all over myself. So <laughs> it, what makes something a craft beer it means it's not just like a Bud Light, Coors Light, Miller Light, like those ones are not craft beers. Yeah, I I, th- I believe. And again, this is going to be 100% what I think in this moment with, with zero research done. Okay. So like most of my opinions. Right. Um, I believe a craft beer is usually a smaller operation. Right? Okay. I believe it's probably, um, uh, there's probably a, a level of, or a, a size or an amount of that, that you make at one time, right? So, so it's not mass okay. produced. Right. And so it's probably, I don't, and these are again, okay. things I'm making up. If you're doing like that a thousand, makes sense to me, thousand yeah. gallons of craft beer is like a hundred gallons. Okay. So I don't that know. makes sense. Um, but somebody can correct me at per usual. I, but no, that's I a like good question. That. I feel like I would, yeah. Oh, that's not a bad question. I don't, I mean, not for me. Like, but we on the like, same, like, oh, you know, you like cra- like the show, like it's about craft beers. I'm like, yeah, it is. But so, what makes a craft beer a craft beer? Like I agree with like yeah. this, like that makes sense. What you said. Yeah. So, like, the banquet can't be a craft beer because they make a lot of it. Uh, well, I believe it's so perfectly crafted that it's prob- it's, it's gonna beyond f- crafted. Yeah, it's its own thing. The it's- banquet, 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 banquet. Yeah, that go. Where's, where's, where's John? Thought- John and Rip. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just okay. feel like well, that, uh, that's that that if that's not accurate, I don't want to hear anyone say anything different because I like that. I want to believe this. I, I don't mind this at all. Neither do I. And the more I drink, it's almost like wine. It's like getting different now. It is kind of opening up. It's still tart on the front end. It is. Um, is it just because, I mean, are just Ohio farmers tougher than me? I mean, I know that to be true, but like, is that something they're like, oh, that's smooth. And I'm like, yo, but Yeah, there's definitely some tough people in Ohio. Um, not when, when I played them in football. Ooh, Ooh, pop, 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 pop. Shuts fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is hard to really talk about since we lost today, but I didn't lose today. <laughs> I didn't lose. To um, hey man, no, it, that's good. I, I like. I don't mind that. That's, that's very good. It's it's that is a. I would call that a craft beer. It, like that is a unique beer that would be fun to to introduce people to. Yeah. Um, we're like, hey, if you want to try something new and unique, boom, and it'd probably look really good in a big glass. Yeah, like it'd look cool. Like you know, just you see the different. I mean, it's just it's a cool color. It doesn't have the gold, the goldness of the the banquet, 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 banquet. Um, but not, I like it. Thank you, yeah. Troy. Troy, thank over. you, Troy. Yeah, and uh, and Maria Stein, Ohio. Yeah, holding it down. Should we learn something? How, how would you rate it out of ten? Because I mm. feel like the tartness is is actually pleasant. I don't know if it's designed or or, or if it's just it's our bad. experience with it. Yeah. <laughs> is it bad? <laughs> they get sent from you know. Yeah, they get sent in. Well, if 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 he pulled it out of the fridge cold and then mm-hmm. shipped it to us. Maybe we should stop drinking this. <laughs> um, so I'm torn on it because I I don't mind it, but but yeah. I, I feel like I'm giving out a lot of good ratings today, and I feel like if I gave it a five, that's that's not appropriate because of its uniqueness. Okay, so here we go. I'm yeah. gonna rate it differently only because of its uniqueness. Okay, I think it's very unique. I like it. I could drink it. 
So I'm going to give it a six and a half. Okay. Um, because I think it's a very unique beer. Because, because it's interesting. It is interesting. It's unique. It's interesting. It's got great flavor. Mm -hmm. It's not like one of those ones like, oh, that's unique, but I don't want any more. Like yeah. I could drink a, a few of those. There's nothing wrong with that beer. Yeah. And typically the, the reds that I've had are usually maltier. And they almost like fade into like a brown ale, like, and I'm not a big fan of that flavor. That doesn't do that for me. No, I like that. And beer. I enjoy that. Muller Brew. Yeah. Holding it down. Oh, All God, right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Troy. So I'll say this. As we're landing on this plane, um, we met, we talked about the game uh, and and the future of the Steelers moving into Monday night with, with this newfound spark. What do you, th what would you say moving into Monday night based upon what you just saw this uh, or, or today? Uh what do you want to see more of? What do you keep? Mm -hmm. And what do you disregard or get rid of? Well, I'd like to, I still, and this is the quarterback speak, I still like to see more shots. Yeah. Take the shots. If you have one-on-one, -on -one, which I've had some really big games against the Colts. I'm sure they've changed their defense since then. But but if you have a chance outside, take the shot. Take the throw down the field. Block it up. Get the ball down the field. Um, leave a tight end in. Leave the back in to give you a little bit more of a max pro. Um, just so you can take that shot. Um, I'd like to get Pat more involved. Yeah. Um, I'd like to get Deontay more involved, which obviously is the passing game, but um, whatever that is, I, and not and and I don't mean that in like a jet sweep kind of way. <laughs> what you don't like the jet sweep, dude? I don't like getting those guys involved in the jet sweep. Get oh, the ball down the field. You want to throw your ball to the re to the receivers the is what you're saying. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I just let, let's see what happens. Um, Going on the road, big, big time, prime time. Everyone's watching. You don't want to be embarrassed because yeah. everyone's watching you. So uh, I'd like to just see them to continue to do that, um, take care of the ball. I don't think there were any turnovers. Today. I don't remember if there were. Um, I think on our end. Which is always huge. Yeah. You know, take care of the ball. Kenny's done a great job. And just keep it going. Yeah. Kenny. Yeah. And finally, uh, they, if they take it on Monday, what does that mean for uh, their season? Is there a shot to make a late run? Well, Benjamin asked me that in the car on the way home. Hey, Dad, do we have a chance to make the playoffs? I'm like, well, they're three and seven. Yeah. I said, if they if they win out, you're ten and seven. Yeah. You know, you got a chance for Coach Tomlin to keep his consecutive seasons yeah. winning uh, with a, without a losing season yeah. alive, uh, pushing it to um, 19 seat. Oh no, that'd be me if I was playing. Yeah. 19 seat, it'd be f f 15 maybe, 16, yes. whatever it is. But keep the that most alive. Of the coach, though, right? yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, keep I mean, that alive. Um, I think now that is that a big task to go win the, the last you know seven games probably. It's a but big, yeah, it can happen. Yeah, yeah, you know. Um, so you just you just gotta find a way, and and and, and the biggest thing is it's one at a time. Don't mm. look at that end game one at a time. Yeah. Well, hey man, hopefully we can take that one. Yeah. Because that would be awesome. I, at the very least, it's been it's been amazing to watch it progress. And um, and worst case scenario, I think it'd be cool to see. Uh, you know how this how this team continues to develop in the future years. So, yeah. cool, man. Was there, are there any other uh, thank yous, homies, shout outs you want to give? I would like to just yeah. again say thank you to Heath yes. uh, Miller having him here. Congratulations again on the 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 Hall of Honor. We got to go through that museum they did at the stadium. Oh, what's that like? It's unbelievable. I, I know we're trying to wrap this up, but what's that like? It's <laughs> unbelievable. They go from like the very 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 beginning. Yeah. To like. Is that but, open to the public? Can I yes, walk through? Yeah, Is yeah it? you can. But it's only open like Wednesdays and Sundays or something. Okay. Uh, I might I be able to get your private tour if I know somebody. Yeah. But they, they have some, I'll just real quick talk. They're like So they have like Mr. Rooney, like Dan Rooney's desk, hmm. like what it was in his office. And it's got a pair of cleats that I gave him. No on, way. They have the DMR on it. Like it's pretty sweet to Dang. see like them on there. Um, they have an area like in the, like one area where you can go into like a broadcast booth and they have like three or four like iconic plays that they they like the announcer's lines come across and you can read it no way and and go with it and then play it back that's dope dude. um so that's, that's really that's really cool um there's a lot of really cool tribute stuff in there to a lot of great football players yeah. um but it, it was really neat to go through I, when we went through it um after he's saying there were a lot of people in there still so i didn't i'd like to go through it at some point yeah. when i can like slow down okay and look and see i mean like i didn't know the bumblebee jerseys you know mm -hmm. They have like an original up there, and it was like it's like a onesie. Like it's got like the snaps, like oh, the cross snaps, word? Like, word? like a baby onesie. Y'all didn't have that? No, <laughs> <laughs> no. But it's got like the button snaps. It's really? Like, yeah, really weird. 
I know. So, um, but but it was so neat to go through it yeah. and really just they, it was well done. Like they put it together and it's a really neat thing. Um, I think like the, we didn't do the beginning, but I think the beginning there's like old Three Rivers like seating, like bleacher seating, really? like a small um, theater. Excuse me, and um, they play maybe like a little like a video of some sort, yeah, and then dude. you go in. I want to see that. Though. I know. Yeah. So, because uh, I was gonna ask you, but uh, before you told me that, like you were kind of rushed through, it's like you know, what was it like for you to walk through that? You yeah. know, there's a, they, they did. A, I thought they did a great job. There were definitely there were some things in there with me in it, which yeah. is obviously really neat. Sure. Um, but but it was just so cool to go through and to, to relive some of those memories. Right. You know, a lot of a lot of a lot of players I played with, uh, even the guys before, a lot of stuff with the '70s guys and. And way back, the, the guys that we just try and honor when we go out and play. Right. So, but that was really cool. So, awesome job to, to those guys at the at the Hall of Honor Museum. And but but thank you to Bob uh, Pompiani, Pompiani, <laughs> Pompiani, uh, for coming on the show. Uh, I did that on purpose. By the way. <laughs> um, but, but um, yeah, Bob was awesome, awesome to have him on here. Hear the yeah. stories, um, how long he's been doing it here. A lot of people, well, not some people, I should say. Um, I saw in the comments were like, "Who is Bob?" So if you're not from Pittsburgh, you may not know who he is, but a legendary. He's a legend, an here, icon, man. Um, sports broadcaster. Yeah, um, just just an amazing man. Um, so happy to have him on here. Yes. So thank you to both those guys that came on. We're working, people. We are working on James Harrison. <gasps> I know we were going to have him on on uh, the Sunday night game, but he had to get up and work out the next morning. That's not even a joke. Out. That's, That's not, not a joke. even a joke. It's not a joke. He had to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning to work out. Um, we work, we get up at 4. Yeah. So Sometimes 3.30. But, um, but but I'm working on James Harrison. I think it's going to happen. I'm trying to get him for the Atlanta game. It's an away mm. game. So if I can get him to come here, then we can watch the game and I, maybe talk about it. Ben, are you talking cool. about a James Harrison? Ben Roethlisberger watch along it would be if so if you guys wow. know james and have his like social media stuff like hit him up let's go let's go get him <laughs> on here um, let's guilt trip james harrison <laughs> i uh i talked to joe manginello um he was at the game he was today. At the game that i talked so to him he said he's in i said he should come on the show he said he's in and out but he, yeah. he did say he loves the show and we're doing a great job uh oh thanks. but we'll get him on at some point he said he would love to come on yeah so we're working on some other guests um like I said, next week's going to be interesting because it's a Monday night game and I'm going to be out of town. So we're going to either take the show on the road or we're going to just pass. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, it's going to be our second bye week. Our second bye week. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, yeah. That, those are my thank yous. I mean, again, thank you to all the the, the, the fans that watch. Yeah, man. Thank you to everybody that sent stuff in. Um, thank you to Creekside. To, um, oh, didn't one of the didn't one of the the brewery the breweries want to like potentially do like a collab with us? Yes, yeah. So, um, oh, and thank you to Epic Brewery because they did. Oh, yeah, we dude. finished. I can't finished off theirs too. Oh, talk great, about that though, dude. Great, great job, you guys. I don't. I guess I feel like that's my fault, man, because I picked like the one beer Epic makes that we didn't like, yeah. and they sent in like four other beers that were like Unique, phenomenal. They were great beers. So great yeah. job, Epic. So we should go to Salt Lake City. Let's do it. And yeah, let's, let's do, do it, it, bro. Yeah. But anyway, what, what, who was going to do it? Like potentially do a collab uh, with? Uh, Florida Ave. Florida Ave Brewing uh, out of Florida. Obviously. Out of Tampa. I think it's the Tampa Bay area. Uh, no big deal. Mm, you know. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah, I think they reached out, you know, talking about a uh, football and lager. Oh, I should oh, probably oh. I should probably reach back out to them before mentioning it on this show because oh. we've, I'm not even. Oh, well, anyway. Never, never mind, Sorry. everybody. So. Sorry. Or maybe this is me reaching well, out to we, you guys. We did, yeah. we did reach... 30, we talked about this last time, 30,000 yeah. viewers. So we want to do a 30K IPA. Right, but it got too be really quick. cool. It happened too quick. But then we like our, our, they've gone up. So maybe it's like if we could ever get to 50K, we could do something really cool, like a 50K IPA. Dude, I'm down. And then and then like we'll figure out something, like give it to people. Or like we'll send it to people. I don't know. What Just do, what if we did like a beer drop? Like we'll get like a local Pittsburgh brewery to do the 50K IPA. We'll partner with them, brew it, make sure it's amazing. Be sweet, and then just leave it randomly somewhere. Ooh, <laughs> just do like, or we'll do. Oh, we'll all do the, a, all the people, all the subscribers just leave their address. And we'll maybe <laughs> we'll show them certain show people. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll do, oh, dude, that's when we do the live show at a brewery. I, I, I mean, right that's now, we'll if it. you're asking me right now, Cinderlands is is leading the pack because they've just been awesome. Yes, but we're not going to make any decisions. But they've been awesome, so thank you. Cinderland's I mean, I'm biased because that's my favorite brewery in Pittsburgh. I want to go there because you said there's good food there too. Yeah, and I want we'll to wanna have snacks because they have snacks here. Dude, their foods un like their foods for real. And you know what? I got their um, I got their Vienna log. I need to. I was gonna bring that over. I had a four pack. And you drank it all. 
No, no, no. I bought you two. spilled it on your pants. Yeah, exactly. I was like, you know what? These pants are too dry. I need to just pour this beer. Uh, all right. So as, anyway. as, as we're landing this, you mentioned the Bumblebee thing, and I had a question because oh. it was color rush day because it was supposed it was. to be a primetime game, right? Yeah. It was supposed to be a primetime game. They moved it. Uh, the color rush uh, is probably my favorite. It's really cool. Because I like the all black. Yeah. That's and that's the closest look. you'll get. The Bengals all white joint was mm -hmm. fire. What was your favorite Uniform. I loved. I loved the color rush. The all black. I thought it was awesome. Yeah. We did one where we had the um, white pants, a gold helmet, black jersey, and white pants. Okay. I liked that a little bit because I thought the pants were like comfortable. Mm. Oh, <laughs> just straight out of color. <laughs> it was all good. Well, what was your least favorite? I thought the bumblebees were ugly. Really? So ugly. Really? So ugly. I mean, I never had to wear it, so uh, yeah. Like so you, ugly. You didn't like it at all. I mean. I a, look, I'll say this. I had a couple really big games in the Bumblebee, so yeah. that was cool. Are you super stitched? Not su maybe no, just a little stitched. Not, not anymore. Not, <laughs> not really anymore. Uh, I was at one point in my life, but yeah. not anymore. Um, yeah, I know you balled out in the Bumblebees. I did, but uh, I thought they looked awful yeah. with like a brown pant and a yeah they were awful. They, they snapped underneath the crotch. It was weird. <laughs> That's why I wear it. Yeah. Is the, the, the snap. That's amazing. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Let's go. All right. Let's Take land this, this plane. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. Thank you guys so much for, for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate all of the, the beers that you guys send in. If that's something that uh, you guys want to send in, if you have a beer, a local beer that you love or a brewery that you love and you want to send it in, the address to send that in is going to be in the, the description below. Also, if you are not already, be sure to follow Footballing with Ben on Instagram. We do giveaways, which we have a lot. We do have some we, stuff yeah, coming. Yeah, we do we have, have some stuff Miller coming. Football and helmet. Yes, sir. Right back there behind me. Yep. And so we have, so it's Footballing with Ben on Instagram. We do giveaways there, exclusive content, and we drop beer lists so you guys can drink along with us. All the beers that we drink here, we let you know what they are the day before so you can go grab it and as you're watching you can enjoy it yourself also you might notice this beautiful hat that's on my that's just perched on top of my head mm -hmm. here it's part of our merch line that you can also grab link in the description uh and beyond that ben i know that's a lot that's a lot that's a lot but, but our fans are it's very, for the people. very smart it's for the people they are they are they, they got it all because they educate us daily so all that said man thank you guys again for your time we appreciate you we hope you have a good week and we will see you next time sorry if this one was a weird episode <laughs>